An unanswerable instruction on purity. One must cut off stealing. Sutra. Further, Ananda, if living beings in the six paths of any mundane world had no thoughts of stealing, they would have, they would not have to follow a continuous succession of births and deaths. Commentary. The Buddha again calls out to Ananda. Further, Ananda, if living beings in the six paths of any mundane world had no thoughts of stealing, they would not have to follow a continuous succession of births and deaths. The gods, people, animals, hungry gods, and hell, hell dwellers would not steal even in their minds. They wouldn't steal anything whatsoever, be it visible or invisible, valuable or worthless, not only not actually taking it, but not even having the thought of taking it arises in one's mind. That is what is meant by not stealing. If they could refrain from stealing as well as from lust and killing, they wouldn't get involved in the continuity of birth and death, and they would also be free of the continuity of karmic retribution and from the continuity of the world. Sutra, your basic purpose in cultivating samadhi is to transcend the wearisome defilements. But if you do not renounce your thoughts of stealing, you will not be able to get out of the dust. Commentary, your basic purpose in cultivating samadhi is to transcend the wearisome defilements. You want to develop proper concentration. Your original reason for this was to get out of the cycle of rebirths in the mundane world. But if you still have ideas about stealing things, but if you do not renounce your thoughts of stealing, you will not be able to get out of the dust. Dust refers to the burning house of a cheap room. So try, even though one may have some wisdom and the manifestation of transamity, one is certain to enter a devious path if one does not cease stealing. At best, one will be a perishing. On the average, one will become a phantom. At the lowest level, one will be a devious person who is possessed by a mad ghost. Commentary. Even though one may have some wisdom and the manifestation of transamity, one is certain to enter a devious path if one does not cease stealing. Basically, this kind of person has no genuine wisdom, for if he did, he would not steal, nor would he lust, nor would he kill. It's just because he lacks genuine wisdom that he does these things. But let us allow that someone like this has a little wisdom and is just a truthful smarter than the average person. And when he sees he slips into an oblivion that's more or less like somebody. Yet this person thinks that he has achieved some incredible state which no one else has ever come close to. He feels he has skill which surpasses everyone else. His views are arrogant and if he doesn't stop stealing, he will fall into a devil's path. Even with a little wisdom and a little samadhi, one will fall into an improper state of being because of stealing. On this devious path, one will teach others ways which are dark and incorrect. One will teach people devious knowledge and devious views. But best, one will be an apparition. When you see such a being, he appears to be extremely intelligent, but in fact, He is false.